It has been about one month since the mistrial, and today supporters of Karen Reed were out in full force rallying in dozens of communities. Reed is accused in the murder of her Boston police officer boyfriend. Now, later this week, a hearing is set for a motion to dismiss two of the three charges against her. Our NBC 10's Aaron Logan joining us live in Dedham with a closer look at the Sunday standouts. Aaron. Priscilla, we're talking 32 different locations from Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, even Canada. Karen Reed supporters are back at it. Karen Reed even showing up at one of the spots to personally thank them. Signs of support everywhere on Sunday. One reading, free Karen Reed, justice for John O'Keefe. From Holyoke in western Massachusetts to Dedham to here in Dighton, where Karen Reed is seen smiling in a picture with supporters, her family speaking out. It means the world to our family to have complete strangers like this who, you know, obviously recognize that Karen's innocent and they've all come together week after week. We're all bringing attention at the same time to what's going on in Norfolk County and uh, against Karen Reed. Since Karen Reed's trial ended in a deadlock, new developments have continued. The defense claims five jurors reached out to say the group reached not guilty verdicts on two of the three charges against her, including the most serious second degree murder. Reed is accused of hitting and killing her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV. The only charge the jurors who've come forward say they're divided on is manslaughter. Right now, a retrial is scheduled for January 27th. Just days ago, legal analyst Peter Ellican weighed in. The judge here was very frank and honest when she said that whatever decision she makes on this, she assumes that the other side is going to want to bring this to the appeals courts. Hopefully, Judge Cano does the right thing and throws out those two, at least throws out those two uh, indictments, one and three. Now, family members and supporters say they'll continue to hold these rallies and they'll do a national one on September 7th. Judge Canoni is set to hear arguments on the defense's motion to dismiss two of the charges against Reed. That hearing is scheduled for this Friday, August 9th. Live in Dedham, Aaron Logan, NBC10 Boston. Aaron, thank you. We will bring you complete coverage of that hearing this Friday live on our streaming channels and then at 7 o'clock, we will have a special edition of Canton Confidential right here on NBC10 Boston.